What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. So we are at work. Today is Saturday and I just got to my suite. So I'm just setting up for the day. Uh, we have a pretty exciting day. Well, it's exciting to me because I am adding a new service. It's I'm bringing back an old service that I used to offer. Um, so I decided to have my niece and her friend come up here so that I can practice it on them. So, but before we get into that, I'm just doing my daily things so i'm opening up my blinds and then y'all it is freezing cold look <laughs> it's 63 degrees in my room it's like 50 something here in michigan right now anyway it's super cold yes 50 degrees the high for today is gonna be 56 so i need to turn on my heater um because this particular heater really good love this heater it doesn't make any noise it heats up the room but it does take a minute to like circulate the heat so I'm turning that on right now and then um let's see i told them to be here at 11 because i had a cancellation which kind of sucks but i decided to make the most of it it's really slow right now and i'm in a bunch of different esthetician groups and lash artist groups or what have you on facebook and so a lot of people are saying the same thing like right now it's just pretty slow you know the economy is trash beauty services is the one of the first things to go when people are like prioritizing and budgeting and things of that nature and you know when things get pretty slow for them but it's 10 42 right now so i need to make my aftercare kits however i don't really have enough time right now so hopefully i have a break throughout the day if not i'll just do it at the end of the day but right now i just need to set up so that i can have everything ready for when they get here because i'm going to be doing oh i didn't even tell y'all what i was doing so i used to offer lash lifts and um I don't know I just got away from it I, I don't know I think I needed new products and I just never I never went back to it so anyway I took it off my service menu but this week well actually a couple weeks ago I decided you know what I want to add them back because that will target a different audience for me obviously if you wear lash extensions you're not interested in lash lifts but I felt like offering lash lifts again will bring more people or different people or people who are not necessarily interested in lash extensions but it'll be basically a different audience is what i'm saying so i'm gonna set up for that right now i need to look over the like processing times and stuff like that for the kit that i'm using so i'm pissed because i left my tripod at home i don't know how i did that but this is the best we can do for right now just for right now um so I am going to be switching over to Elebana, I think is how you pronounce this name. When I was doing my research, this was the one that came up the most. So I decided to just get the starter kit and do that. I obviously wasn't about to start back using old products that I may have had because I, let's see, I went through lash affair back in like 2019 2020 and that's how i learned how to do um lash lifts so i know how to do them but i wanted to familiarize myself with a new kit as well as just familiarize myself with the process because i haven't done them in so long so enough chit chatting i just need to move some stuff around I need to make things pretty comfortable for my niece she was just recently in a really bad car accident which sucks um, so right now her leg is trying to heal. <laughs> so I think I'm going to have her lay on this. I put a towel. I brought some towels in here because I have a Brazilian to do. So that's the plan for today. Do two lash lifts so I can get content, practice, all that kind of stuff with them. And then my first client comes at 1 o'clock. That's a full set, a wet set. A lash extension then i have a fill-in classic fill-in i have a brazilian after that and then my last client of the day is going to be a volume full set so pretty long day ahead but i'm grateful so yeah let's just get set up so i'll just turn you guys this way so you can watch me boy you had me from the start by the way you stared, the way you wrote up on me, yeah, yeah. Man, I felt your energy. Wasn't used to being loved and treated differently, yeah. But something went wrong, the signals got crossed. And now we're on completely different pages. Let's go where we were, when no one gets hurt. Baby, keep it right there, don't you stress the flow. Trying to pick 
pick the pace up, we should take it slow. Baby, keep your focus, don't you make me change my mind. If you love me, baby, don't you switch up the vibe. Baby, don't you, baby, don't you, baby, don't you switch up the vibe. Baby, don't you, baby, don't you, baby, don't you switch up the vibe. Will you take me on a trip? Always up and down and back and forth and merry go round. I just wanna get it right. But when you go left, I'm stuck here feeling left behind. Cause something went wrong, the signals got crossed, and now we're going different directions. Let's go where we were. Okay, so I got everything set up. So right here I have the they have like a makeup remover shampoo. Uh, basically a lash <laughs> a lash bath so I'll be doing that oh there's a little fly they have the little glue right here um this is a little brush thought that was pretty cute and then here is the lift lotion and then here is the setting lotion so since I'm doing them two back to back I think I'll be okay with just one of each of those so I'm saving a little product and then here are the rods I pretty much can go through these and see which one I need for my niece because obviously I know her, I know what her lashes look like. Um, and I can go from there. And then what I like most is this tool right here. So, and the last kit that I had from Lash Affair, and again, it was early on, I'm not like bashing that company or anything like that, but I feel like Lash Lifts, they, while they have been out, I'm pretty sure, but they began, they began to be really popular in like, end of 2019 into 2020 when virtual trainings were becoming popular because we were in a whole freaking shutdown and so i remember getting the training from lash affair for lash lifts for free from them so i went through the i did the training and like i said i was offering the service the one thing that i've realized i guess over the last couple of years that would have been helpful in that kit is a tool like this so when you if you're familiar with lash lifts um then you'll understand what i'm talking about but if you're not then you'll probably just see it because I'll show you guys the process and everything like that but this tool right here so they did have this tool in the kit before but this part right here is a game changer now I don't know if you can see but on the top of here there's very very tiny little teeth and this allows you to kind of isolate the lashes as you lift them because what ends up happening with a lash lift it's like a perm right so you're perming the lashes and you're lifting them up if you're just rubbing them against the rod with just this part they'll kind of crisscross or get stuck together and so you'll have to like individually try to separate the lashes so that they can lift and be individual when they you know once you're done but with this tool right here I feel like it's a game changer because you'll be able to easily separate the lashes while they're on the rod while they're processing and then once the processing time is over and once you're done with the lash lift then they'll really give that pop and they won't be too clumped together or you won't have lashes that are like crisscrossing everything will be uniform they'll be aligned and they'll be flawless so I'm really excited for this I'm gonna spray this stuff down with some alcohol really quick and just let it sit and then I need to, I'm actually probably going to use a different brush. I don't know if this brush is supposed to be for the lash bath or not. But I'm a professional. I can improvise. I know what I need to be using. So yeah. Mm. Oh, I thought that was them. No, that's not. I love having a window right here. <laughs> and I said it in my last video, which go check that out. Um, of things to look for when you look for a suite. I am obsessed with this window. Like, I, I don't know. I just am. Okay, I'm trying to finish my smoothie. This is my little weight gain smoothie because sis is trying to gain her weight back. Okay. So now I need to um, look at these rods and see. I'm not really in a rush, but... While I'm doing their lash lifts, I want to um, just have enough time to be able to take pictures, to calm, you know, and not be rushed or whatever. And so, actually the rods from that last kit was really nice too. I could combine them, but I think I'm going to use a medium one for her because her lashes, my niece's lashes are really long. And her friend, she has really... She has nice lashes for this as well. I think hers are, hers might be a little shorter than my niece's and curlier than my niece's. So I feel like 
I'll get good experience in practice because my niece's lashes are long and they kind of grow up pretty straight. And then from what I've seen, her friend's lashes, like I said, they curl up a little bit. So I'll probably use the smaller rod for Tamiya. And actually, probably a medium rod for my niece. I don't need this big rod large. So let me see. I don't know if I showed you guys really what they look like, but these are the rods that come in the kit. Ciao. There we go. Um, because basically the smaller the rod, the more dramatic the curl will be. So, and then that's large. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to kind of breeze over the little instruction kit that they gave me. Again, I know how to do the process. I'm just gonna look at the processing times based on the product line. Obviously, it's probably gonna have different processing times. And then the processing time is gonna vary based on, you know, if the client has never had lash, uh, a lash lift before um, and things of that nature. So yeah, I'm just gonna read over this stuff and then I'll check back in once they get here. All right, you guys, our first model is here. We have Derica Amaya <laughs> <laughs> reporting live. All right, we're gonna do a lash bath first. Get them nice and clean. Second lash lift is underway. We're over here processing. Looking good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whew, that took a lot out of me. All right, now we have our second one of the day. All right, next client is here, I gotta go. Woo, what's up y'all? So we've been on go, okay? <laughs> I did those lash lifts and then I just had my first actual client. So yeah, if y'all, she is so sweet. And I was um, telling her about the lash lift because her lashes are so, her natural lashes are so, 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 so curly. And um, if you're a lash artist, then you know how it's kind of <laughs> difficult um, to lash clients who have really curly lashes because the base 
where you attach the lash, it's not like long enough. Like if your lashes, this, let's say this is like the lash line right here. And if your lashes come out doing this, then it's hard to attach a natural, I'm sorry, it's hard to attach a lash extension to it. So I told her about lashless because that will kind of straighten her lashes out, which I've been thinking about it. But now that I'm like adding, a, adding it as a service again, then I just told her about that. So she was like, oh, she said she always wanted to because she said she can't put like mascara and stuff on her lashes because they literally come out and curl right up. So, but that was nice. Her set came out really cute and I'm happy that she trusts me with her lashes because, you know, I don't know. I feel like lashes boost confidence and all that kind of stuff. So, um, in a situation where she was not able to get them before, I was able to make that happen for her. So anyway, I say that to say that's why I didn't like have my camera out so much because that particular set requires a lot of focus and I just hop right in. So that's that. Eating the candy that I got up here for my client. Um, so now I have about an hour before my next client. Well, 45 minutes. It's 2.16 my next client to be here at three so i decided why, why do i have like flies or gnats in here second one i've seen but i've decided to go ahead and put together my aftercare kits now i just purchased a little kit on amazon just because i had so many clients asking for lash bath and i'm like oh my god i don't have the stuff so instead of making excuses getting everything all customized first let me do this oh something in my eye too so yeah i had a few labels left so i did make a few bottles so this is what my label looks like for my lash bath there we go and so i did make a few bottles but i ran out of labels and i just kept making excuses i'm like oh i need to order more labels and i'm like you know what let me just get a kit on amazon i don't care about the label i just want the stuff that's inside alicia so stop being difficult so i decided to get this from Amazon now I use the prolong lash concentrate a lot of lash artists use this stuff to make their lash bath um this stuff is really really good and so you can get quite a few bottles out of this and I have another one over there too that's not open yet but this one is already open so I'm just grabbing that and so in this little kit which I'll have linked down below if you're interested I got it on Amazon so it does have these in here but yeah these are the labels right here Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it just says that it's lash bath it has the ingredients it has the instructions the benefits all that kind of stuff so i thought that was pretty cool then it also comes with so this makes 10 aftercare kits so there's 10 labels there are 10 of these brushes right here that has like the little um they're inside of the plastic container i like to give my clients these they actually like them as well because uh it helps them to keep them clean you know if they're throwing them in their purse or they keep them in their car then this plastic container lets them stay clean free of lint dirt all that kind of stuff so that is what that looks like and then here is the top so i got like some little lashes at the top so that's pretty cool so there's 10 of those there's 10 lash bath brushes this will be the last time i use these brushes because i found some brushes that i like a lot better so I ordered, I ordered those, and so on my next set of kits, then I'll definitely include those brushes. But these ones still work for now. And these are the brushes that they come with. There's 10 of those. They come with 10 little bags. And at first I'm like, this bag is little, but it does fit everything in there. The bottle, the brush, well, and broke brushes, basically. And then here's what the actual bottles look like. Here. So yeah, I'm about to sit here and put these together. That way I can start selling these. And it's also a nice way to make a little extra money, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to set y'all up so y'all can see me make these um, aftercare kits. And then we'll be done. One less thing for me to do today. Slowly, so we already in too deep. Can't get no sleep on each other. Heavy tea. 
freezing all day and when the sun sets you asking me to come through kick it with you night turn to morning do like my little business card not little because ain't nothing little about my business okay i added my business card in here just in case i mean why not and there we go so i just made 10 oh aftercare kits and we're gonna be selling these for 15 dollars a piece and i'm trying to figure out where to put them because i feel like here, let me show y'all Oh my God, girl, relax, slow down. Okay, so I might end up doing that. So let me turn y'all around. On my shelf here is where I have, oh, my current one, like right here with my oil, but I feel like it's missed. I feel like if clients see it, then they'll be like, oh, I want one. Or purchase one i can also say something at the end of each service too but i just wanted to make it easier oh i'm about to fall so i don't know if i'll move it up to this shelf that way you can see it a little bit better and put this stuff down here or i was thinking about putting it on my checkout table but i don't know i just like the way it looks now without that let me just play around with some stuff and see and if i move this so right here because when people check out then they'll see the kits right here but i don't want them to think it's i don't want them to think it's like a grab and go like you could just grab it so i think i'm gonna just put it on this shelf right here so Here. Same thing with this. Here. I mean, that can actually stay. No, because I. Oh! Oh! Yeah, I like. I don't, all, if I put this right here, then they're all the same size. I don't really like that. So I like it being different. Let me see. I kind of like that better. Child, what? I was not supposed to be doing all that. Okay, and then I can just have these. Hey! Now I feel like I want to put these in the back. Even though it's my brand, I'll just sell some of the bottles like individually, but then this is the actual kit. So I think I like the way that looks better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm missing two. Oh. y'all think 
What we thinking? What we thinking? I actually like it. Yeah, I think I like it. Okay, so I'm about to just chill. Well, not chill, but clean up a little bit. My area got kind of messy because I went right from those lash lifts to um, lash extensions. So I'm about to clean up and set up for my next client. So I'll check back in in a little while. Time and then I see those two lashes thrown up the game. Uh oh, you like, yeah, it's yeah. time. <laughs> Once they start listening, listen. and turning, going up the game signs, you already know what time it is. Right. I was like, oh, absolutely. <laughs> you like, let me get my appointment on the books because we got to fix this okay. right now. I feel you. Everything been going okay? Yeah, everything's been good. Good, good, good. All right, scoot back for me just a little bit before you get too, too comfy. And then, uh oh. Did you make it to the candle play? Yes! Okay. Oh my god! We had such a good time! Yeah, so I have to know what my son's at 7. I'm probably going to be sleeping. Girl, it's okay. <laughs> I tell everybody, go on here, fall asleep if you need to. That'd be a compliment to us. I'm like, if I can get you that relaxed and you could just take a little nap. I, listen, a mission accomplished, okay? I don't know that at all. baby um and that's it i'm a little tad so i'm gonna find me some food and i'm gonna go home smoke me a little hookah probably read a little book um i got some cash today thank the lord so i gotta stop at the atm that was Two full sets. One fifty. One, two, three, twenty. Yes, yeah, so for two full sets, each one was one fifty. So that's three hundred, and then the twenty dollar tip for my first client and my other client. She sent me Zelle. So that's how much I made today. Y'all really want to know? I don't care about sharing. So yeah. That's it. Oh, and my niece gave me a little scent, scent for her lash lift. But she was my model, so I wasn't charging. So, yeah, well, that's it. I cannot find my keys. I'm like, huh? I'll take these home to wash those. I'll put 
this up here for now. Got my little lip gloss. This is my Madison Marie Cosmetics, duh. This is in the shade Sweet Pea. And our little squeeze tubes. And y'all been buying, so thank you guys so much. So yeah, y'all, that is the end of my work day, which means that it's going to be the end of today's vloggy vlog. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you like the content. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Watch some other videos. I do have plenty of like last tech vlogs on my page. Also on, on my channel, I should say. Also, if there's anything specific that you guys want me to share, definitely leave that down below because I would love to create that type of content if you're interested. So yeah, y'all, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys.